So what is climate change? According to NASA, it is the long-term change in the Earth's overall temperature with massive and potentially permanent ramifications. The UN say that this is the defining issue of our time and our generation. It's caused by what we know as the greenhouse gas effect, which is when greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, collect in the atmosphere and reflect warmth back towards the Earth that should have gone into space. And that increase of warmth being reflected back in goes into our oceans and our forests, causing an increase in the overall temperature that we feel every day. And that's global warming. Over 95% of climate scientists agree that this level of concentration of greenhouse gases that we see is a result of human activities, such as the burning of fossil fuels, um, oil, gas, and coal. As a result of everything that was happening and occurring due to climate change, in 2015, the world came together at COP21, the Global Climate Conference in Paris, and they agreed to limit global warming to well below two degrees centigrade, also known as the Paris Agreement. In order to achieve this, not only is it about government setting limits, but companies taking action as well. And in order to take action, companies need to aim towards what is now called net zero which is ensuring that there are no additional emissions from 2050 onwards. Which leads me to my final point, which is the role of asset managers, where through investing in companies, we can help support the transition of them to a lower carbon future. So not necessarily divesting and just saying, you know, we're not gonna be part of this, but actually working with oil and gas majors, with users of carbon dioxide, in order to help them reduce the um, total emissions globally, to transition towards net zero, and ultimately to achieve the Paris objective of being well below two degrees centigrade. Investing must have risk. Capital investing must have risk. Investing must have risk. Investing must have risk.